So you went up to Oxford at... 13. 13. Wow. I mean, that's very young. It's bad enough just being the clever one in the family. These kids, prodigies, they have it really tough. They're not one thing. They're not another. Freaks, really. I expect your parents were proud. Very. There were newspaper articles, pictures of mom, dad, and me smiling in the library. When I was nine, I saw tan minus one X. They bought me a dress, got me in the news. But still, what must it have been like? I mean, you're 13, your classmates are what? 20, 22? No friends your own age. That's quite a presumption. Actually, I matured very early, sexually. Are you familiar with Occam's razor? All things being equal, the best solution is the simplest solution. Well, what this principle tells me is, the only other person we know to have been in your parents' house this morning was you. I don't see how it's possible to arrive at that conclusion. Well, there's no evidence of an intruder. But absence of evidence isn't evidence of absence. Okay, fine. I'm making a leap. But it's a tiny leap. More of a hop, really. Is this where you ask me if I hated my parents? It is about that time, yes. Mm -hmm. Did they make me a freak? Yes. Did I hate them? Absolutely. Did I kill them? No. Can you prove that? <laughs> I can't prove a negative. It can't be done. Well, innocence is a negative. It's the absence of guilt. Then the burden of proof is entirely yours. If you think I did this, you have to demonstrate how and when. I won't be able to do that, will I? You can certainly try. Because there's nothing. Uh, you don't interact with the stuff we know about in the way we'd expect. Your presence, your actions, they can only be inferred by a certain absence. Is that a compliment? Absolutely. I hope you're not trying to beguile me. I wouldn't be so foolish. But here's the thing, Alice. Right now, you can revel in your brilliance, but people slip up every single time. Well, that's just faulty logic postulated on, in imperfect data collection. For instance, what if you only catch people who make mistakes? That would skew the figures, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just? But really, that's the thing. Most criminals, they're just not as clever as they think they are. Wow. That must get so monotonous for someone as brilliant as you.